such creatures were not part of the Authority's plan, then they would not exist in nature, period. Mitharu's divine order governs all, even the Fae. You don't know. It is less a mission than a fortress of deception, a citadel of lies. It throws its menacing shadow over all of Gorhart. Father Dinwell will try to defend his cause, but he is simply a soldier, marching to the orders passed down to him. None of them have minds of their own. He would be a good man if he could see past the rigidity of his faith. Mitharu embraces all, not simply those that the Church deems worthy. She was wronged by someone in this village. That is an injustice I can understand. By its appearance, you'd assume Gorhart is a pleasant place. Never make assumptions. God. Mitharu believes in justice, in equality, in order. What order is there when few choose to subjugate the many? Are we not lied to? Welcome to St. Odwig's perpetual mission. I would invite you in, but the order has been too trusting in the past. We try to learn from our mistakes. Although, one never knows what might be a test of faith. You have arrived just when I am in need of aid. So perhaps Mitharu is at work. I have been with the mission since its founding. These boys are like my sons. I live my life as an example of Mitharu's wishes for our kind. The Fae are stubborn fools. They treat their souls like toys, with no thought of right or wrong, chaos or order. Frustrating, that one, stubborn to the spirit. She claims to know the will of Matharu better than those of us who have spent a lifetime studying scripture. If only she would be touched by the hand of reason. The first bricks were laid 50 years ago by Odwig himself, before his demise at the hands of trolls. We honor him by converting the Fae to the worship of Mitharu. Alas, we have yet to convert a single one. But that does not keep us from trying. We at St. Odwig's have worked for years to establish a presence on this hill. It's not been without its challenges. The call of the Feylands does not fall upon deaf ears, and many of our youngest don't have the will to resist. Take Brother Egan, for example. Two nights ago, Egan ventured past the walls to collect firewood and never returned. We must find him before anything happens. Odorath is a savage land. Every day we must face both the beasts of the wood and the evil of wicked hearts. I fear for Brother Egan's soul. He knows nothing of the world of Fae and Alpha. Trust and temptation. He is like a baby, eyes wide at the world around him. Mitharu be praised. His order reigns supreme. Brother Egan was last seen northeast of here, just off the road near the Fey ruins. Please find him. Perhaps then we can welcome you into the fold with open arms. He is a good boy, but our youngest, and Egan often suffers from doubt. That is to be expected. One can only grow out of conflict, especially conflict of the spirit. I tried my best to comfort him and tell him that wisdom would come in time, but he is impatient, rash. He wanted a faster way to enlightenment and power. Egan was last seen in the woods outside the walls, just north of the village. Bless you, child. Switch over to that quest. Are you content to live among the lives of the mission? They look down their eyes at you. They laugh at your in. Okay, so. 
this and this thing over here. Reinhard Davies, the Princess, and Brother Egan is back there. Ignorance. The Fae are not our enemy. So let's try Only that the way and see. Okay, that Those is who the seek right to way. poison us should be reviled. That includes the brothers of St. Audrey's. Need something? Let's speed up to make it a little bit further into the game. Let's see. Now let's go down this pathway. Follow that until we get to possibly Brother Egan. Should be up here somewhere. I wonder if that's Brother Egan right there. I don't remember. Let's change our weapon real quick to let's do that one. <laughs> let's see if there's any spoils to be had. Don't see anything, so let's check on him. Yes? What could a mortal vagabond need with Kazmar and the eternal messenger of the Fey folk? Speak! My time may be of the ages, but it is still precious. Wait, Father Dinwell sent you, didn't he? Old fool. His path to power was too plodding, and now he wishes to slow me down, too. I have new friends, Fey friends. They are named Finna and Arbos, and they have sworn to share their secrets with me and to gift me with true magic. In exchange, they want an ancient treasure buried in the caverns of Waterhall Down. I'll retrieve it, eventually, as soon as I, um, feel like it. <laughs> they are Fey twins, and they are beautiful, magical creatures. They've promised to teach me magic, to help me see the world as it really is. All they require of me is to fetch for them this relic. It's quite a bargain, believe me. Fine, if you want to be so noble, but don't expect any of the treasure. This is my key into a powerful new future, a future full of magic and wonders. Let's go. Father Dinwell and the others are fools, and their silly mission will wither and crumble. Finna and Arbos have glimpsed it with their ever-seeing eyes. It is called the Selkie Veil, vale, and it's said to possess the power to transform its wearer into any form he wishes. Finna says it belongs to the Fae, but was stolen. I don't know much about the relic, only that it was supposedly crafted by a Fae mage named Armin the Clever. Armin is a good name. Not as good as Kazmaran, though. Legend tells of the great Fey city hidden beneath the canopies of Dalantarth. 
I've never met anyone who's been there, but I'm sure it's real. Yes, I'm quite sure. Not a doubt in my mind. They believe I have the potential to succeed where all others have failed, including them. You see, they can't obtain what they desire, so they need someone more powerful to do it. Then they will bestow upon me the wisdom of the Fae. Yeah, that doesn't sound um, like a disaster waiting to happen. Mortal races have no lasting grasp on this world, and in time, the Fair Ones shall be our masters, beautiful and mighty. It sounds rather silly, doesn't it? I had a feeling it would. I need a mage name for when I become all-powerful, for when my magic is so great that no one will dare dispute me. What about Abner the Visionary, or Malik the Nefarious, Lord Zaltanus? No? Then those were the good ones. I'm new to the Feylands. Until I joined the mission, I'd never even left my home village. That's why I volunteered. I wanted to see the world. I want to visit the gardens of Issa, to meet gnomes and Alpha, to live. The Order of Mitharu was a good way to leave home, but I want so much more. It is in the caves of Waterhall Down, a refuge for the wild fae. Bye then. It's not working that well. My controller, but oh, that one had something. Oh, there he is. I was thinking he would have ran off without me. Spoils, unfortunately. <laughs> Off to water how water hall down. There we go. The fluidity of movement afforded by oh, couldn't read it all, but oh well. If we're going to press on, then I'll ask you to stay close. I have no courage to speak of. Honest, ask Father Dinwell. Local legend says that the great fey mage Armin the Clever retreated to these caverns to hide his treasures from mortal hands. Among them, the Selkie Vale. Bye then.
Is that a trap or something, I wonder? Let's go ahead and see if I can equip anything new. I already have that equipped. Drink that. 